your kingdom come on earth as it is in Television, right and shine. Let's make welcome Ben Fish. Good morning, Ben Fish. Good to have you. And I love the reggae colors. Yo, once they're captain in the industry, it's different. It's different. Okay, so let's start from the very top. Ben Prince, does it like a priest come from? Yeah. I don't know where to start from. Uh, <laughs> but this comes from uh, Cross River State, originally Cross River State here in Nigeria, mm. um, from Boki local government area, Cross River State. Mm. Uh, I would say I'm a black person. Black person. Mm. That's that's like you know for the Accra Cross region, we say uh, Amani Somokubusi. That's like, you understand from the roots, yes, I'm an Isoma Yenefi. So yeah. all the way yeah. pushing, yeah. 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 yes, pushing a talent that deep from, you know, cross river state, from Nigeria, all the way to becoming the lead vocalist of the Lucky Day Band. Yeah, that I've been uh, with my own band long before now, uh, before the demise of Lucky Today, uh, I had my own band running in Nigeria a long time, even before 2000, and the year 2000, and, and before that. But um, he has been my inspiration, the biggest inspiration that I ever had. And, uh, and he's the first person that ever went to Zion, and that made me to shed tears. You know, so, um, Fitting in his shoes wasn't easy. Uh, it was something so overwhelming, but uh, I feel so humble about that. Mm. So when you say, um, who don't even listen to reggae, <laughs> don't even understand what reggae is about, we're going to come. His okay. device, yeah. He, oh, oh, device went to Zion. Zion. That's what you're referring to. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it literally went over my own head. So imagine like every yeah. other person. Yeah. But let's do a little bit of background. We have different genres of music. And it looks like in the 21st century, reggae is not that appreciated right now. In the days of Lucky Dube and Bob Marley, they, they seem to have been a presence of reggae at the time. But with their, you know, all lives, talking about the issues of life, reggae deals with that. And then there's no reason why it shouldn't be spread. So I think the media also should give attention to that and promoters too and organize shows that um, spotlight with it. Now, uh, let, let's come back to you and a little bit about your background. I know that when people start dreaming and aspiring to be musicians, they, they have a whole lot going through the answer. Has it always been reggae for you? Yeah, basically reggae for me, but you know, even though my beginning started uh, in church, my dad is a pastor. <laughs> so, so people ask how do I reconcile that? My dad is a pastor and retired now, but um, I was a member of his church, a member, a choir member of his church. Most of the time when I sing with the choir, I didn't want me to take the lead vocals because they, they find out when I say they feel that oh wow it's then I began to like discover myself as a uh, tell that uh, it's but then I began to think deeply I don't know how it came about I I think deeply deeper than in the church and which reggae enhances I'm looking to reggae because it's very spiritual too. You know, so I didn't see anything wrong with reggae because I, I got to play it in reggae even after uh, when I went to the professional age. Okay, so um, in, in, in navigating as a preacher's kid and into reggae, how do you start to accept that? Because I can imagine you're not born with bread and at some point you decided to do it. Get into the formation of that 
then there wasn't any recorded thing that I had done then. Uh, it was a little bit very disturbing. People asked me, why do you do that? Why do you go around with your loves and the fact that you're not born again? That means you're not going to heaven. You are not spiritual enough. Uh, you're going astray. You are disgracing your dad. I had that a lot in the beginnings. But what kept me, they didn't see, like they always say, God looks into the heart. And he doesn't judge by the outward appearance. Man judges by...